Welcome to Down the Forest Path podcast. Today I'd like to start a small series that is devoted to the elements. As they're such an important part of many pagan practices, including Druidry, Wicca and Witchcraft, let's explore them a bit further. So in much of modern paganism you'll hear about working with the elements, both in ritual and just in daily life. These elements are earth, air, fire, and water, as well as a fifth element, spirit. This stems from ancient Greece. Um, Although elemental systems can be found the world over, with slightly differing concepts. The five elements I previously mentioned form a method of viewing the world in Hinduism, for example, where the four elements of earth, air, and fire Earth, air, fire, and water represent matter, and the fifth element represents spirit. The ancient view of the four elements, with the fifth element of spirit, or aether as it was known in the Middle Ages, persisted through until the Renaissance, and even today, then they still can be linked to such concepts such as the states of matter in scientific terms, uh, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. There are mythical beings that are attributed attributed to each of these four elements. Um, These are gnomes from the earth, sylphs from the air, salamanders from fire, and undines from water. And these elementals are much worked within paganism today, just as much as the elements themselves. In Wicca and witchcraft, for example, Working with the elements helps us to ground our practice and to provide us with a set of correspondences so that we can work our magic. These are energies that we can tap into and that we can acknowledge in our work, both within and without. When used in ritual, especially in circle casting, for instance, the elements help to ground and center the magic circle. In spellcraft, the elements can lend their energies to our work, and we'll talk a bit about this um, later when we look at each of the elements in turn. In druidry, living and working with the elements can help us to attune to our environment so that we can best work towards creating a harmonious relationship with the world around us. In modern paganism, we have a whole host of correspondences that help us to work with the elements. Earth is associated with the direction of north. It's the darkest time of the year. It's winter. It's cold nights, midnight, and death. Air is associated with the direction of east. It's the time of spring when the world begins to green again. It's dawn, it's birth, it's infancy. Fire is associated with the south. It's the time of greatest light. It's the height of mid. It's the height of summer. It's midsummer. It's noon and maturity. And water is associated with the west. The twilight hours and autumn. It's sunset and old age. Spirit is everything and nothing at the same time. These are just a few of the associations that um, we'll explore in much more detail in future episodes when we go into each element in turn. So I hope you'll join me for this little series and uh, I look forward to having you with me for the next podcast here on Down the Forest Path. Thanks for listening and take care.